ओम शांति आई एम पीसफुल सोल नमस्ते टू एवरी हिंदी लर्नर एज वेल एज आवर डबल फोरनर्स बी के ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स यू आर मोस्ट वेलकम इन हिंदी लेसन आई एम ब्रदर सतीश फ्रॉम माउंट आबू आई नो दैट बाबाज ईच एंड एवरी चाइल्ड वॉन्ट टू लर्न हिंदी बिकॉज हिंदी इज बाबाज लैंग्वेज यानी गॉड्स लैंग्वेज एंड एवरी बॉडी वॉन्ट्स टू हियर बाबा डायरेक्ट इन हिंदी सो हिंदी इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस फॉर दैट सिंस लास्ट एटीन ईयर्स आई एम गिविंग हिंदी कोर्सेज एट माउंट आबू इन अवर हेड क्वार्टर सेंटर सो फॉर दैट I used to give Hindi courses for one week, every day for one hour, and by this way, I want to teach you uh, Hindi reading, writing, understanding, and speaking also. There are some brothers and sisters, those who wants only to understand, uh, yar are only to speak. so i feel that that will be only one aspect uh, therefore uh, i wants that not uh, only understanding and only reading is not enough uh, just try to understand uh, hindi alphabet try to read try to write so for that uh, this is very important thing to understand alphabet so brothers and sisters i am going to teach you i want to tell you about the importance of hindi uh, baba as well as god has inspired so many time to learn hindi baba asks uh, do you understand hindi do you not understand hindi up to now so baba says ask again uh, do you want to go in golden age so everybody says that yes we want to go in golden age then baba asks said will uh, the present language your present language will be dear so uh, everybody knows that there will be not all present language so after word there will be only one language and that will be hindi so hindi is very important thing baba says that uh make effort uh, to understand hindi maybe it is difficult to learn to speak hindi per but uh, you should try to understand at least hindi so we can uh, converse we can understand we can understand we can read morally we can understand hindi so hindi is very important thing for us Hindi is a uh, member of Indo-European family languages, and there is some re is this uh, imbalances between Hindi and European languages. Uh, instead of Urdu and Chinese, there are other languages. There are so many similarities in Hindi and in English. and other languages as we want to uh, write uh, hindi so as we used to write english above the line but we write hindi uh, hanging the line below the line so it feels a bit little different and hindi letters that is built up of 3 and 2 and 3 pen strokes like we will write first this one and then we will we will write this one and then we will write something but not every letter uh, so it we should understand uh, about this so come with me hindi is very easy language instead of uh, arabic and chinese language and other languages sanskrit is little difficult to understand to speak to write but hindi 
is very easy language because in Hindi there is um, little uh, regional languages somewhere you will found that there is English words and Baba's Murli is very easy Hindi, very easy Hindi. Anybody can uh, learn easy to read Baba's Murli. So, here try to understand Hindi alphabet consists of 49 letters at all. Of these first uh, 19, first 13 words are vowels and the rest 36 are consonants. You will feel that in English there is only 5 letters A, E, I, O, U for the vowels. But in Hindi why there are 13 vowels? So, you should understand that Hindi is phonetic language. Phonetic language means whatever you will write, you will read. But in other language, it is not so like that. So, whatever we will read, we will write. So, in Hindi, like a new child, when he start to speak, so how he make sound? First sound comes uh, uh. open the mouth and you will speak the first word uh. second word emphasizing a uh, ah uh. longer uh. one is small one long a uh, ah uh. third is e fourth is e and fifth is u u like pull, push, there is u, u and the longer that is u, u, u and when child turn the tongues, so first word ri, 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 it comes in this form ri and next a, 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 a it is a a and i and next is o and then o and ang ah so these are 13 letters only the re we can try to understand later on first take 12 one so again come with me first word is a uh, a ah. E, E, O, O, A, A, O, 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 These are twelve ones and re we can understand later on. So, again come with me and try to uh, take all words together. A, A, E, E, O, O, A, A, O, 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 A, A. Come with me and try to understand again. A, A, E, E, O, O, A, A, O, O. These are the 12 words and read then you can use. Re, re for uh, like in Krishna we use re Krishna and Rishi Rishi the Munis Rishi Munis so we use the re one when we try to chain to twist our tongue for example you can understand a a in Hindi a is silent in every consonants in every consonant there is some similarities, I want to tell you about Hindi and English uh, that uh, as I have told you that we write English above the line and we write Hindi below the line. Like that says, next thing is very important thing in English there is two set capital and small letters 
two set but in hindi there is not at all capital any small no any problem and there is because uh, 13 vowels are there because hindi is phonetic language so we there as when we speak slower words slow word later so it became slow like uh but when we make large we emphasize the word so it became big a uh, a e e o o a a o o ang a okay so these are the vowels and the next that is the consonants when we use the consonant in speaking somewhere consonants are coming separate without supporting without taking support of the vowels so they will come as natural way but when there are fluctuation in the or speaking like a uh, so all letters ka kha ga gha india they they will come simply but when they will take help of the vowels they then they will uh, gives a different form so come with me for the another thing and that is the consonant there are 49 letters first uh, five lines they are in scientific way they are coming in use like first sound come with me and put your hand on the upon the on your throat here feel and they will come easily first letter k k second is with h with little emphasizing and that is kha kha third is ga ga you can feel ga ga fourth is gha with h ga g and h that is gha and the last one inge 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 so you can feel come with me again first is k second is kh third is g fourth is gh and fifth last inge 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 and i have told you just 49 letters of these 13 are vowels and 13 and 36 are consonants of these three letters are not in well use outdated after coming the computer it has in english we say n and the n is coming in three forms in hindi like india nya ana ana so three letters are not well used but i have told you in uh, our consonants so first time i have told you ka kh ga gha inga with more clear you can say ka kh ga gha inga ka ka far ka far like we say class class r clean so here is half ka but ka is ka as in we say in english k but in hindi it will be ka with the ka there is short a hidden in every consonant ka there is small a kha there is small a ga there is small a gha there is small a so all hindi alphabet all hindi consonant has small has short short a but to be safe 
for this problem in English we say k but we use for the k k for the k and k h for the k g for the g g h for the g and ing for the n now come we come with me for the second second line second word second is second line is like four corner mouth make four corner mouth and try to speak ch 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 in in word ch ch uncle ch ch so that that word is ch and we use english ch second is ch c h h that is the ch third word is j j for j next is j h means j j and the last word is ia ia it is also n in english n we use ia 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 but not in use well use in hindi now nowadays and third line third is line try to understand it is hard sound hard sound in hard in speaking uh, mostly english one english people they uh, feel little hard but spanish and uh, russians and other they can speaks very well so that that is open your mouth and your tongue should touch the upper palate and then through like your tongue should through like ta 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 like train like ticket like tree tree so it is the ta australia like tra so this is the ta to understand without open the mouth uh, it is hard to speak open the mouth turn your tongue touch upper palate and then through. ta second is tha with the force tha tha in hindi thehro thehro stop thehro like stop stop here t is the first one ta second is tha third is da da hard hard the the d one comes d daddy that d that d so da fourth is dha dh dha dha for for dhol dholak dhol drum that is the dhol dha and the next ana so these are the five words hard word open the mouth tongue the turn touch the upper palate and through ta tha da dha ana 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 na na it is different uh, than n in english n that is in hindi na but here is ana 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 like ganesh 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 it is not ganesh 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 you will feel it will difficult because you have never turned your tongue like this way but slowly slowly you can speak so try to understand gane and lose your tongue and and touch the upper gane ga ganesh ganesh not ganesh ganesh so you can understand you can speak later on now fourth line fourth line it is also coming from the specific part of the body to pronounce the fourth line we use uh, our tongue should touch our teeth like ta ta tha da dha na clear n so try to understand again to speak ta 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 second is tha th tha 
थर्ड इज द द द फर द फर दादी द फर दीदी द फर दादा सो दैट इज द सॉफ्ट वन द द नेक्स्ट इज धा 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 फार धन फॉर द कॉन्सोनेंट वी हैव डिवाइडेड इन फाइव लाइन्स बिकॉज वन वर्ड इफ यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड यू कैन प्रोनाउंस सो यू कैन स्पीक्स आफ्टर आफ्टर फोर वर्ड्स मोर सो मीन्स फाइव लेटर्स यू कैन स्पीक यू कैन प्रोनाउंस इजली लाइक आई हैव टोल्ड यू द फर्स्ट वन इट इज कमिंग फ्राम योर थॉट यू कैन स्पीक क ख ग घ इंडिया सेकेंड लाइन इज छ छ ज झ इया थर्ड इज हार्ड साउंड एंड टचिंग डबर पहले टंग दैट इज टा ठा डा ढा अणा फोर्थ इज सॉफ्ट साउंड एंड फॉर स्पीकिंग दीज वर्ड्स your your tongue should touch the teeth and you can speak easily like ta 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 try to understand ta second is th tha third is da fourth is dha fifth is na ta tha da dha na so this is the soft sound after that fifth line fifth line in alphabet set in consonant set that is that fifth one it is coming from the lips you can speak easily pa second is pha then ba next bha and then ma pa pha ba bha ma so these are five lines very special uh, they are coming for, from the specific part of the body and now few different different words different pronunciation like ya ra la wa these are the four four words in one line and next is sha sa sa ha in hindi there are three type of sa one is which is like sha like shiva like shakti like uh, we can feel uh, uh, shiva shakti like that you can use shiva so sha second is sa uh, and that is the middle one and the third one that is dental sa is speaking without any stress that is sa sha sa sa and ha four words in one line and the last one it is kshha tra and gya kshha tra and gya kshha kshha for kshatriya kshha like raksha bandhan kshha and tra tra also in kshatriya tra Trimurti, there is tra comes, and the gya last one gya is for the gyan. In in Gujarati, in other languages, gyan they say, but in Hindi it is gya, 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 gyan, gyan, not gyan, but gyan, gyan. So that is the knowledge. So we can understand. So these are the thirty-six consonants to understand. For understanding understand more uh, we have uh, prepared a book and that book is written by the peter ison he is professor of uh, english and uh, and also professor in university london university oxford university so he has written a small uh, hand written book and for Uh, hindi learners i have made i have prepared uh, uh, a a book of these words of of that hand script one you can see you can feel it is very helpful for hindi learners and especially bk rajyogis 
so this is an hindi is an easy an easy hindi course for easy rajogis so you can feel you can read it you can uh, take from uh, brahma kumari centers and there is very special they have given uh, uh, simple like the hindi alphabet here how to write first word na and then ma then ta and by and by he has come on the page 21 and on that page 21 there is the hindi alphabet here and i have started from here so you can check you can read all alphabet uh, and here is vowels 13 vowels a a e e u u and re re i have uh, for the flow speaking in the flow we have at, um, we have out of the lines we have uh, speak uh, i have spoken a a e e u u a a o o ang a so this is easy in the speaking and for that i used to tell you that a new child when he start to speak a a e e o o e a o o ang like so it it comes naturally uh, for the new speakers so try to understand you can read like that and here is um, vowels uh, consonants there are th th 36 consonants so most welcome it is the first lesson try to uh, take help by the book and it will be help you and uh, i will tell you uh, more about this about the vowels about the consonants consonants in next episode